Hi, I'm Nadia, welcome. Hello everyone, I'm Urs Recho and we both are photographers at Brown Color. Today, Nadia, you brought us a Picolite. Please tell us something about it. Piccolo in Italian means small. So Picolite is a very small lamp. Uh, it has 1,600 joule. And what about the modeling light? It's 150 watt. Okay. And it's not only a small uh, lamp, but it's also a very light lamp. Mm -hmm. It has an integrated reflector. Uh, so you can use it like this. You can use it like this, but lately I saw you using all kinds of toys with it. Yes, the nice thing about the Picolite is all the accessories. Mm -hmm. There are tons of them. There are many, many accessories. So we have a Pico box, we have an attachment for honeycomb grids, we have a Fresnel, we have a projection attachment, we have barn doors, uh, we have an adapter to use uh, in order to use the other Broncolor light shapers. So you can use uh, other soft boxes of Broncolor. Okay, so basically everything that has a Broncolor bayonet can be used on a Picolite as well. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, you mentioned several times, you know, that it's a small light, that it's for small accessories. And is it a system that's uh, only used on small setups, like uh, jewelry photography, like uh, food photography, basically on still lifes only? Due to its size and the power, of course, it's more for rather small mm -hmm. setups, but it doesn't have to be necessarily only still lifes. So I've, uh, I've taken a picture of a model of a face, and I took the Pico box for that. It's okay. not the most common use to make a yeah. portrait with a Pico box, but it uh, worked fine. I wanted to have a, a dramatic light and I placed the Pico box very, very close to the face. So I had a fall off, a big fall off, and I had very dark uh, places in the, ima in the yeah. image. Um, so it was, it was a possibility, of yeah. course, to use it, a Pico box for a... It really looks amazing. Let me ask you if I would have shot the same portrait, the same guy, but with just a standard softbox, what would have been the difference? I did a comparison. You can look. Of course, it's much softer. It doesn't have the same dramatic mm -hmm. uh, effect like the, the Pico box. I see a big difference, yeah. Just the other day, I've seen you packing the car as well. You went on a location shot with Pico Light. Yes, it was in a tattoo studio. So I've taken a picture of a, a tattoo artist during mm -hmm. his work, okay. so with the client. And the tattoo studio is very small. So I was very happy to have Pico lights because of the size. I could place the lamp between the tattoo artist mm -hmm. and, the, and the client. And I took as a main light the Fresnel. Yes. Uh, you can adjust the angle. So uh, you can adjust the angle by turning the knob. And I wanted the light very concentrated only where the action was taking part. Okay. So the background is completely dark, as you see. Yes. And the light is really focused on, on the center of the image. Okay, so it's actually a, a seamless adjustment of the light angle. Yes. And yes. you use it as a backlight when I see this right in the picture. Yes, from the side backlight, yes. Back, okay. And then I had an additional uh, light. I used the Pico box just to make some filling. Mm -hmm. You can see it in the metal part of the instrument, oh, right. yeah, for example, yeah. the reflection. So if you compare this with the standard uh, shooting, it's just a, a strong, small main light and a slightly bigger fill-in light. So it's a standard setup, but just reduced in size to fit yes. the, the setup, yes. basically. Yes. Okay. Amazing. We also have a honeycomb. Of course, I could have used maybe a honeycomb because it's also concentrating the light. But uh, from the practical point of view, of course, this knob with a yeah, Fresnel is really, really practical. Because it's seamless. So, but where do you use the honeycomb grid then? The honeycomb, you have an even smaller light angle. So if you want to light up really, really small parts, mm -hmm. you have different honeycomb grids, you have aperture mask, and you, you can combine them to get even smaller. Okay, smaller so light the, the, the most tiny spot effects you actually get from yes, the honeycomb grids. from the honeycomb grids, okay. yes. We have more. Hmm? Yes, have tell more. me more, tell me more. So we have the projection attachment. It's, uh, it has uh, some templates mm -hmm. in it. You can yeah. focus it so you can really set the light very precisely. I have done an image with uh, some uh, porcelain, white, shiny. In one of the cups, there is some uh, tea leaves. They are dark. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And I've put a, a main light for the whole for the whole image, but then the tea leaf that would be completely dark yes, because of the big contrast be between this white mm -hmm. porcelain and the tea leaves. So using the picolite with the projection attachment and using the working with the templates would allow me to set the light only on the tea leaves, okay. not on the on the cup. And you see the tea leaves, they're very crispy. Yes, and I guess it's the only light that's precise enough. So even the most narrow honeycomb grid would not have been precise enough yes. to hit the tea leaves yes. only. Yes, that would have hidden also the porcelain in a, in a part and you would see the shiny. So with this, you're really, really uh, very precise. Yeah. Unbelievable control. Uh, How do you mount it on the lamp head? It's uh, easy, like... Yep. This and you close, so it's uh, fixed. Mm? Okay. It doesn't fall off. Also has a safety lock. Yeah, with a safety lock. Okay. It's really nice to work with picolite. I I like, of course, it's small, handy, uh, and to have the the opportunity to use so many different uh, accessories. Yeah. It's really great. I see you're you're really in love with it, huh? Yes. I I need one. I want one. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. We're happy. Yeah. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you very much, Nali, for telling us so many interesting things about the Picolite. Thank you, and thank you for watching. So, bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks, bye-bye.